this supposed to mean? Yes? Have you found any of the stones yet? Oh my, that is horrible. I knew Del Gais wasn't exactly a paragon of virtue, but to abandon one's son simply because... <sighs> I will never understand those sorts of people. But still, this tragedy tells us we were right about our theory regarding the stones. To destroy the village and make this boy suffer, that is... Perfidious, truly perfidious. At least we now have all the stones. Let us complete the mosaic. sea of eventualities. I can't feel it anymore. No, I... I don't think so. It's like a veil put in front of my eyes. Sharim. He's currently trying to raise the barriers. The ones at the gates. They are meant to magically seal them a as a protection against Korak's armies. The walls are nearly impenetrable, but the gates aren't. Quickly, go see him and find out what is going on. Now are we... Prophetess. I tell you, it won't work. I can't see anything. But why? That just doesn't make any sense. Well spotted. We have to inform the Grandmaster immediately. Oof. Not now, Saira.
and the slow thinkers among us. I recognize a magic blockade when I see one. And as long as it is active, we can't put up the barrier. I understand that you're upset, but an order is an order. I'm sorry. What is going on? Thank the sun, Harrenfield. I'm trying in vain to make this highly intelligent commander of yours understand that these headaches are not arbitrary. Grandmaster? Sharim is right, Commander. Something is wrong. We... What the... The Nuremis are inside the city! They're inside the city, dammit! Prophetess, come here! What is the meaning of this? The Nuremis! They're inside the King's Bay! Their ships, they... They just appeared! I don't, I don't understand! They just appeared? Are you trying to tell us that an entire fleet entered our harbor and nobody noticed it? Of course. They cast an invisibility spell on their fleet. The magical blockade prevented us from recognizing it. Good plan. Thanks to the utterly capable military around here, when it worked out perfect. Watch your mouth, wild mage. Nobody... Come on. It does not matter how it happened. We must act quickly. Charlie, is the spell for the barrier of the gates ready? The one at the main gate, yes. Until now, we couldn't cast it because of the blockade. Can I give the signal? Yes. They want us to panic, but we will not do them the favor. Activate the barrier, then return to us. Soldier, you said that the Neremese have already invaded the city. To what extent? There. In the Fog District, I think. They overran the harbor gate before we were able to close it. But Sergeant Harlichan has entrenched himself in the gate of the lower district. And we won't be able to hold it for long. Good. Commander, station your soldiers on the battlement and use arrows to keep the Nerimis at a distance. Don't let them get close to the market. You, Prophetess, will accompany me there. We will liberate the south quarter and then secure the harbor gate so that Sharim will be able to place a barrier there as well. At least the heart of the city will be safe then. You're going to fight? Yes. Now go. Time is of the essence. Understood. Soldier, follow me. Are you ready? Good. We need to find Sergeant Harlier. The soldier said he's in the south quarter. Follow me. Thank you. 
you're the damn gate. Sergeant Tavia. Who? Grandmaster Aramphio. It is an honor. The honor is mine. What is the gate's status? Bad. Dozens of Naramis are behind this gate, and they're setting up rams. Then we will stop them. We have to secure the harbor gate at all costs. Once we have done that, our majors will seal the gate. This is all of you, I take it? For now, yes. But reinforcements are on the way. I... Forgive my failure, Master. We should have seen it coming, but everything just... happened so quickly. I know. Now come on, we march out. Every second we wait will help the enemy. Y yes sir. Guardsmen, the Grand Master is relying on us and so is Malthus. Live up to your names. Yes, yes sir. sir! Go! the gate. Yes, sir. It's jammed, Sergeant! What? What are you talking about? Is it possible that the Nerimese have sabotaged the mechanism? Sabotage? I... Yes, of course, that must be it. What can... The locking mechanisms of the gate are on both sides of the wall, correct? Yes. Yes, Master, that's right. Good. Prophetess, you and I will fix the cracks. Sergeant, in the meantime, you and your men will keep the Nerimis off the gate. When we are finished, we will give the signal for retreat. Understood? Y y yes Master, of course. Get it. Omar, prepare the cannon. Let's show the bastards what it means to defy the life form. We will await your signal, Grandmaster. May his life guide you. And you. Follow me, Prophetess, to the beacon. Well then, there are two cranks with which the Paul Collis is controlled. We do not know if the Narimis have already sabotaged both mechanisms, but I suppose so. You take the left crank, I will... I'm sure they're trying their best to do just that. Prophet. Hurry up, damn it. I am hurrying.
There they are. Get now. Prepare the fire spit. Thou art my light, my shimmer of the horizon. Your fire. Retreat! Now! Do something! Burn the master! Do something! Damn it! Still value human life as little as you did back in Kyoto. How many people was it around here? I forgot. Wise words from the mouth of a warmonger. Oh, so that is what I am to you. If I remember correctly, it was you who refused to negotiate. You might not believe it, but I enjoy this no more than you do. Hence, one more time, around here, surrender. Your so-called army is a joke compared to mine, and it is merely a matter of time until we find a way into the city. So, for once in your life, make the right call and end this conflict before it gets even bloodier than it is now. Well said, Clark. So, what do you expect us to do now? Ask in your wisdom, kneel before you? Yaslan Sharim, how disappointing to see you here. All your life you have fought religion and its tentacles, and now you fight for it. I fight for something called common sense. You should try it sometime. As I said, Aranthio, last chance. Stop working on the beacon, and no one will be harmed. The cleansing has to happen, and you will not stop it. Trust me, I will. Now, is that all? It is. Oh, it is. Alma, line up the prisoners. I want to see each one of them crucified before nightfall. And then inform the troops. Every Endralayan will be killed on sight. Understood. What? Religion is a sickness, Aranthio. And it is the cause of pretty much all the evil that has happened in this world over the past millennia. Your son saw that too, like you. But he also made a fatal mistake. To believe that the death of the Lightborn was going to change things. But they were just a symptom, not the cause of the sickness. The cause is religiosity itself, this particular way of thinking.
I am not executing them for their country, but because their way of thinking has been corrupted. Religious people choose a rationality above reason and dogmas above free thinking. They turn themselves into puppets. Believe me, I wish there were another way. The High Ones will never elevate us until the ulcer of religiosity has been torn from every single head in this world. By the way, it's good to see that you have survived. What's about to happen now is your... and you don't even try to convince yourself otherwise. Take this. We need to go back to the temple. We will proceed as planned. Light the beacon as soon as possible. That is all that matters. So, how do you need to seal the gate? There's an hour. Good. Be quick about it. Galton, what is the situation in the upper district? Are all of the intruders dead? Yes, Grand Master. Some of the infiltrators have fled into the sewers, but we're in pursuit. By the righteous path, you are well. What happened? And why in blazes do you stand around like bloody waxwork figures? Jorik has betrayed us, Tilor. What? He has revealed the locations of our scouting posts to Korek's army. That's why we didn't see their ships coming. A keeper has caught him talking to Korek through one of the silver plates. And don't worry, he's only unconscious. Commander. Get him out of here. Of course, Grand Master. Where should I take him? Anywhere, for heck's sake! I... we will deal with him later. This is not a case for the Tribunal. Very well, Grand Master. What is the status of the Beacon? Where is Merigel? At the Beacon. And there is a problem with your machine. But that's something they should tell you themselves. Now, excuse me, the entire city is in panic. The people expect an explanation. Then give them one. Follow me, Prophetess, to the beacon. I don't care, damn it. Just do it. You know, getting angry doesn't help anyone either. I know, but it's just too much at once. I tell you, there's no word about a Numinos. Well, if you say so, then I guess we have to get used to the idea that our machine will not glow anytime soon. What are you talking about? We have the stones. Remnant. Yes, that is right. We have the stones, and they give the beacon the energy it needs, as we have assumed. Right. This crystal in the middle of the cross it is the core of the machine. The Numinos. So? The Numinos is empty. That's why it is so dark. If we were to ignite the beacon now, its energy would be emitted aimlessly with devastating results. An explosion, to be precise. An enormous one. So it seems, yes. An explosion, I, I to be precise. Sorry, An enormous you one. Bless your travel. As soon as possible. Yes. Yes. Before you ask, we don't know yet what the Numinos actually is, and neither do we know where to search for it. But we will find a way. Give us a week, maybe two, and there will be results, I assure you. Then begin. Confident. Get some rest. Such chaos. Yes, I guess. You should take a rest. I was told what he did to secure the gate. We'll call you as soon as we need him.
Greetings. Hmm. Now, well, where did I? Hmm. The Grand Master and the Truchessa do not want to be disturbed. I'm sorry, sister, but good work in the harbor, really. One more time. Why did you kill Pegast? I didn't kill her. How often do I have to tell you that? The prophetess found a bottle of cap dust near her body. How do you explain that? <sighs> well, maybe there are thousands of dust addicts in the city, and not just me. Damn it. Yes, I gave Korek the locations of our outposts, but I had nothing to do with the death of that woman. Then at least tell us who else Korek bought. Who hired the mercenaries in old Rationgrad? I don't know. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. And do you know why? Because this war is madness, Teolor. It is madness. It is unnecessary. And you are too fucking blind to see it. I am blind? Which of us is the traitor? Which of us is responsible for the deaths of hundreds and hundreds of people? Let's stick to the point. Accusations lead us nowhere. <laughs> A word of wisdom from your mouth, Natara. Bravo. Pity that your wisdom doesn't go beyond words. Weren't you always the most determined of the three of us? For three decades you led this country, and you never showed any weakness. But no, as soon as the grand, presumed dead Teal or a Ranfield returns, all you do is bow and scrape. Why, Natara? Have you too come to believe that pile of scrap metal out there can save us? Whatever that's supposed to look like. Or do you do it because Teal or warmed your bed back in the day? <sighs> you are only making it worse. Oh, am I? You are so bloody blind. Blind and stupid. Both of you. Don't you realize how much of a fool this Korek really is? His only condition for peace was that we would stop rebuilding some ancient machine. What would that have cost us? Nothing. But no, Teolor. To you, this fantasy of cycles and high ones is more important. More important than anything else. Damn it, even your own people. Fantasy. So you still believe that the threat is not real? After all that has happened? <sighs> I don't know. I'm a warrior, not a sage. But even if it is real, what I do know is that we can only lose this war, and that we will dig more graves with each day we wage it. Up here we are safe, yes, but what about the villages, the farmers? Don't get me wrong, Tierlaw, I know what I did, but sometimes a quick cut is better than bleeding out slowly. Korek would have conquered the city. We would have surrendered. And maybe he would have even shown mercy. But it's too late for that now. No. You didn't do this for our country or our people. You did it because you wanted to save your own skin. Nothing more and nothing less. And yes, Jarek, maybe you are right. Maybe we can't win this war. But that doesn't mean I will surrender. Because I have something that you don't. Principles. 
You don't have any. You have nothing but your bottle of booze and your bloody dust. You are a hollow man, without talent. And the only reason you are here, and not in the alleys of the Undercity, is your bloodline. And now, people are dead, all because of your cowardice. Do not think I will ignore that for old time's sake. I will count to three. Who else has Koreg bought? One. <sighs> now aren't you a tough guy, TLR? Two. What I did was right. One day you'll realize this too. And then you will be ashamed for you just... Three. Oh. <sighs> uh. Tilo. We are done here. Move along. What? Yes. Uh, damn those Neremies. doesn't make any sense. Why can't it ever be easy? Now look who's here. So, my child, I know you still didn't find it. You think you know what you're doing. But the truth is, you're still wandering through the mist, just like all the others. <sighs> yes, that is what you believe. You know, it would be so easy to see the truth, to feel it. If you, for all your heroism, had not forgotten one thing. To listen. Come, let me show you what I mean. Sit down and let us listen to the silence. Okay, okay, fine. I get it. You know you have sinned, and that's why you're lying. But look, honey, I'm your husband, and I deserve the truth. 
Lying is a sin. You know that as well as I do. And you also know the position this puts me in. What else do you want me to say? It's ours. Yours. Mine? You make me unhappy. You know that. You make me very, very unhappy. <coughs> Next time, it's going to hurt. Whose child is it? <laughs> oh, Lord. Is this what I get for my piety? All these years, I sacrificed myself for this family. I toiled. I buried my dreams. And all of it, because I wanted them to be happy. And now... Now my own witch betrays me and carries another one's fruit in her belly. But no, no. As if that weren't enough, she denies me the truth. Me, her own husband. Just what am I supposed to do now, Lord? I beg you, tell me. What shall I do? Yes, of course, Lord. You are right. How could I be so blind? The Creator has spoken to me, honey. A child born of sin is tainted. And this is why we will drown it. Yes, that's what we'll do. As soon as it's out, we'll put it in the trough. You're a monster. You're a goddamned monster. I beg your pardon. No, I... I think you just said something that would have made me really unhappy but unfortunately i didn't hear you loudly enough so please be so kind as to say it again <coughs> what i can't hear you darling i can't hear you <coughs> So tell me, my child, how does it feel to be powerless? How does it feel having to watch and not being able to do anything? No, but now you can, can't you? <sighs> but there's no more time, silly. I have to go now, forever. It's been so long since I last ate, and I'm craving a slice of meat. Bloody, crisp meat. Goodbye. Hey, hey, Saira, wake up. What's the matter? What? But... but we will. You found the Black Stones, Saira, and we'll use them to banish the High Ones no matter how hard this Quarak tries to stop us. But first of all, calm down a little. Well, because I heard you screaming, I suppose? And both Sharim and the Archmagister were asking for you. Apparently they have a clue as to where to find this Numinos. You should go see them as soon as possible. No, they're in the Chronica. What? I... There's something I need to ask you. The mercenary. Sorry for asking, but how do you feel about him? I was just curious. Thanks for being honest with me. Anyway, we'll talk again later. Take it slow. You don't look too well. <laughs>